name is Rob and welcome to another in my series of uh, videos on working with and learning to use GIMP. If you're new to GIMP this is for you and I'm going to be showing you most of what you need to know in order to work with the selection tool. In this video we're going to be using this this tool, the uh, rectangle selection tool and these are the things that we're going to be covering. We're going to be using this tool. These two next to it are pretty similar. We cover those in another video. Once you've got the uh, an understanding of the basic selection tool principle, then the other two are a pushover. Now the key thing to realize here is that the selection tool in GIMP is fundamental to um, your use of GIMP. If you have a mastery of the selection tools, then you're going to be able to do some pretty extraordinary things in GIMP and be able to do basically anything. So let's go. First item on the list delete a region of an image using, uh, first of all, we have to make a selection around the region that we want to delete and then we can delete it. So let's take the selection tool. we do is uh, click and drag if you're using a mouse, I'm using a pen. Position it where you want to, you can uh, hold it and drag it. And then size it using these handles. You can see there's a handle on the top, on the bottom, in the middle, and then you've got these corner handles to size it that way. And so on. Once it's selected, edit menu, or Control X as usual in Windows, select None, and there we go. Okay, so the next item on our list is um, moving a region. So again, take the Select tool. Well, might as well take the this region and edit. Now then, what that gives us, if we look on the layers dialog, we'll cover layers in a later video, but just for now that's going to that's given us a floating selection. We need to make a layer out of that. So we click on this icon, that makes a layer, and make sure it's selected. Take the move tool, layer move tool, select that layer, and move it to where we need it. One of the very handy sub-features of uh, the selection tool is the ability to feather a selection, feather a region that you've selected. Let's just zoom into the image here so we can see more detail, see what we're talking about. So if I take my selection tool, just do what I did a moment ago, select a region and delete it. I just press the delete key, but you can do, you can use the edit menu. You can see that the if I do select none, you can see that the edge of the selection was a rather hard edge. Sometimes you want a softer edge, so you want to feather the selection. Easily done. Take your selection tool, click on this check mark, feather edges, then you get a little slider, which uh, the the greater the number that you make that along that slider, the more rounded, uh, the more feathered uh, will be the edges. Um, I'll set mine to uh, about 179, make a similar selection and delete that and select none. And there you are, you can see the difference. The edge of the selection has been feathered um, for a depth specified here. Okay, the next item on our list is to create a region with rounded corners. Let's zoom in again. Let's just recap. Selection tool, make a selection. Delete that. Select none. See, we've got square corners. If you want rounded corners, with your selection tool selected, 
click on rounded corners again you get a slider the greater the number the, the larger the rounding of the corner will be make your selection and let go that actually looks like a that actually looks like a circle because I've got such a large rounding on there get rid of that select none and there we go rounded corners you can of course combine uh, any combination of the features of the selection tool together uh, to give yourself um, more finer control of what it is you're doing so there I'm combining feathered edges and rounded corners now next thing to look at is this select uh, by aspect ratio now sometimes you might want to make a selection where you're going to control the size of the selection but you want the length of the selection to be in relation to have some relationship to the width of it or vice versa I'll show you what I mean select my selection tool I'll switch these things off and go for a fixed aspect ratio of 2 to 1 type that in there and then make my selection now when I when I try to make this larger it will if I if I pull it out laterally it will grow vertically as well because I've specified that I want a 2 to 1 ratio so for every two units in the lateral direction the horizontal there'll be one unit of measurement in the vertical so if I try to pull it out out this way it grows wider as well so GIMP will keep that in sync. Sometimes you'll want to make a selection by size, specific size. If I take my rectangle selection tool and I just make an arbitrary selection there as we did earlier. W whatever I leave that at, you can see down here in the position and size uh, fields, it's telling me from top left of the image I'm working on where the top left corner of that selection is and the size of it the width and the height but I can use these boxes to manually set the width and the height perhaps I want the size to be 200 by 200 exactly so I set that and now I have a selection that's exactly 200 by 200 and if I wanted it to start at 100 from the top, 100 from the left. Then I change those, and that's positioned exactly at that location in the image. Of course, if I start dragging this around and changing these, then this information updates down here. And you can change the units of measurement. These are set to pixels by default, but you can change them to other units of measurement as well. Okay, well, um, the last two items in our list here, um, making selections using guides and highlights and expand from center, and then the last item um, for making complex selections, adding selections together, subtracting. We're going to have to save till the next video because we're running out of time. So in the next video, we're going to cover these two tools, the uh, ellipse select and the free select. And that's when we'll cover uh, these two items as well. So um, tune in then. Uh, thanks for watching this one. Bye bye.